<clears throat> Hello, ladies and gents, and welcome to the UBI TV podcast. I'm I'm your host. I'm the otaku trash guy. I am the one who wears the bottle cap, glasses, and an Naruto headband regularly. My name is with the big guy, and I am not dead. And I'm gonna introduce you to one of my. Ca- I'm introducing you to my co-host. <clears throat> my one co-host because he can't make a video right now because his video maker software is trash. But don't worry, he will always be back and be back with Black Show. Let me introduce my co-host, Brand New. How you doing tonight, Brand New? <laughs> Any opening statements? No. Shut up. All right, and all right. Next, we have my other co-host. He is. He is Mr. <clears throat> he is Mr. Constantly making a video and constantly getting his ass beaten on any game he tried out for the first time. He is Mr. Naruto Game of the Year. This is Mr. J Money 89 Boy. Any opening statements from you? Wait, I don't know what the hell you think you're talking about, cause uh, nigga, nigga, yeah, I play, I play, I don't know. Hmm, true, true, true. And this is the fifth um <clears throat> UBI TV podcast. Well, six considering the um. Ultimate character podcast, but I don't think that really counts. But we we like to thank you for listening to us, and we're just gonna get started. All right, so the first one, I did okay. This is um, what are y'all thoughts on Far Cry Primal? They gave me some guns. That, that's kind of the point. Right, I have guns. Okay, man. They all Say that again. Somebody boy, 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 What are your thoughts on Far Cry Primal, <laughs> brand new? <laughs> 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 My goodness. Wait, I don't know if it's filled with strawberry milk. I, I just don't, I don't know. My goodness. But for, thoughts on what? Far Cry Primal, sir. So you've been waiting to get that game for hellas, and when you finally get it, you just say, eh, it's alright. Yeah, problem. Well, it still looks like a focus simulator, so yeah, it kinda is a problem. Alright, that's dope. I did see Dashy play it. It do look better than it actually um, looks, but as looks, I'm still struggling. I don't have a next gen console, but I do but I did see some people play it. I even saw J Money review it. It looks good. Like any Far Cry game is gonna look good, but you know, it's just needs some more stuff in it, you know. Oh, um, Mortal Kombat XL was released recently, um, earlier in March, and so this is a game. This is basically the complete edition, like Mortal Kombat Nine. This comes with all the DLC characters, uh, with new combat characters, uh, with new skins and everything, and all the DLC for free. Now, was this a good purchase or was the money? It most likely will. Yeah, your voice kind of skipping. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's wrong with it. All right, you good now. Now keep saying what you were saying. I was saying that they should have put some uh, story modes. They should have put some story stuff at least in the uh, combat pack. I mean, the characters that we got was cool, but I just feel like they could have put some story mode stuff in there. But I think it was all right. True, true. What do you think, brand new? Brand 
brand new. Anybody else? Um, I haven't played the game yet, but it seems like a good purchase. It and it's sixty dollars. It is a good purchase. I mean, you could either there. This is a lot of behind this. You could either get Mortal Kombat XL with all the shit in it plus new stuff for sixty bucks, or you can get the new the core game, which is like thirty bucks right now, and all the DLC, which is DLC including Goro, the skins, characters, and shit. It's just gonna be like a hundred dollars by itself. So that's a really good purchase. I'm glad they finally did this. You know, all the DLC, including Goro, the, the skins, the new uh, characters and all. That, that this seemed like a good purchase. Like, I'm glad they finally did it. Divided, we stand. United, we... Wait, am I saying it wrong? I thought it would. No, I don't think I'm saying it wrong. I think it's... No, no, I'm saying it wrong. Yeah, I'm saying it wrong. But thoughts on what? What is going on? I thought that it was Tuesday. Mortal Kombat XL, sir. Oh, yeah. That's good. I mean, they could have did a little bit better. It's kind of boring. Got bored with it after, like, one day with it. Trash. Right. Should have did more. All right. What y'all think of the um, combat characters, too, since we're com I'm talking about this? I like Tribal. Or can you remind me of Ultron and Iron Man? I saw your gameplay. Um, did you know the um, Sub Zero was there? Yeah, I saw Jay with the gameplay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause um, I don't think I don't really think I saw you. I don't know. I was recording an MK11. Why keep saying MK11, MK9, and I didn't make a joke. But Movie Maker was a bitch to me. But anyway, um, if there's more deal, if you think there should be like more DLC to this game, or is it time for them to have enough start? This stop. Work on Mortal Kombat 11. Um, I guess they should just go ahead and make Mortal Kombat 11. Mortal Kombat X starting to get boring. Where they uninstall that game? Probably will. Alright, alright. What do you think, J Money? J Money? Well, how you just gonna hang up? Oh, Joe, damn. Let me call him back. Uh, sorry for the leave of um, silence, ladies and gentlemen. We're just trying to get back Mr. Money89 Boy back to the podcast. It'd be alright. So I think we should like fill up the space until it gets back, but um, what do you, th okay, what's gonna, it's like, you say it's getting boring right now, like, what do you think should be put into it specifically to make it, to make it better, like, for you not to get bored with it? A new DLC story. DLC story, okay. Alright. And that would, that would make it more, more fun to play another story. Alright. But, um, they still, they, I noticed something. They still don't have Baraka. They still don't have Sindel. They still don't have Rain. Sorry about them. The only person I'm looking forward to him playing with, if he could still have them, is Rain. That's the only person I'm looking forward to playing with, if he were to get the game. Everybody else, you know, get them. You don't care about Baraka? Baraka, Baraka, What about Sindel? No, lady, oh. She's like 99 years old. But she's like a double zombie right now, too. So that's just that. And um, and um, so you gonna get Mortal Kombat 11 even though your base dead? Yeah. For the second time. Right. They might make up a line for their back to life. They keep doing that because that's like the that's like the sixth time Lena has died. Can't let her go. Yeah, I guess. She's been in every one except the first one. Uh, I ain't played the first one. You're not missing anything, really. You're gonna think the fatalities are trash. Yeah. Knowing you. The game probably is trash. The graphics are trash. It's the second Genesis and 
uh, Super Nintendo. Fuck, I can't get this guy back. Yeah, um, it's the same Sega Genesis Super Nintendo. Of course, it's gonna be trash from, compared to nowadays. We gotta think back. Is that what? If you like the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis, of course, it's gonna be trash compared to nowadays. Doesn't matter. They need to do better. <laughs> we gotta, yeah, I think. Where the, is it? What are you heading out for? Did he kill himself? I, probably, because I can't get him to answer the phone. Uh. Okay, so I guess this turned into cooking with um, Big Guy for a minute. And, oh, his Wi-Fi turned off. Oh, um, so this turned about cooking with Big Guy, and today we're gonna be talking about ramen noodles. There, ramen noodles are those little noodle packets that you see in the store for like 25 cents each. They're a cheap food, but they're really affordable too, and they're able to get you by on the diet. But there are many ways to make um, ramen noodles. There's chicken flavor, there's beef flavor, there's oriental flavor, all kinds of flavors. But you can even add your own flavor to it. I mean, a lot of broke, a lot of broke people that with oh oh we're back we're back. I can stop talking about ramen noodles now. We, yeah, we're still going. Um, we were just talking about. <laughs> okay, well, um, okay, we're just really talking about um, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat, um, XL. Uh, what do you think of it? I said it was cool. It just, uh, they should just put the story mode stuff in there. All right, all right. And what do you? Okay, story mode. Put anything else to be added to put in there? Cause I'm, cause I'm kind of pissed that they put um the three characters that everybody wants in there. Nah, that's pretty much it. I mean, if they would have put some, some other characters, I would have got a little mad. Cause I'm like, I want to play with some new people, not motherfuckers we already seen. Right, right, right. And um, what do you think is? So, do you think they should add like more DLC, or should it stop right now and they should work on Mortal Kombat 11? True, true, true. Alright, so, but yeah, I thought it was really good. Really good bargain, spending less money. And I knew this was gonna happen, like, eventually. Like, I called this shit, like, as soon as it got released, like, last year. But I'm glad this is happening and everything. But, um. And brand new, just talking about that, that you know they're gonna bring back Melina because it's like the sixth time she's died, and I don't know, they can't have Mortal Kombat without Melina. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's like having, uh, what's the name of uh, Mortal Kombat without Mortal Kombat? Mortal Kombat that died so many times in Mortal Kombat. Dude, niggas a zombie in Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Yeah, but it was still taking him. Right, it was him. He had the bicycle kick and everything, but he was like a, a green ass zombie. He got a bite taken out of his neck. He had chains and shit. What? And we're talking about um. <clears throat> so um, and so everybody gets the skin suits. Like talking about uh. So what do you think of the DLC characters for added in Combat Two and Combat Pack Two anyway? Like you played them. I saw y'all gameplays. By the way, funny shit. Go check them out. Um. How, so what y'all think of the DLC characters? I mean, with uh, Leatherface, Triborg. Um, whose name doesn't really make sense when you think about it, because his name should be Quad War, since there's four of them. Um, and Ball Right Show, and the Alien. I'll let Brandon take this one. What happened? What do y'all think? Of the, what do you think of the four new um combat pack characters? Uh, they are. Uh, uh, what's his name? Leatherface is trash. He don't know how to fight. I don't know why they put him in this game. His brutalities are fucking kinda brutal. Kind of stupid, if you ask me. Yeah, I think out of all the characters in that, it's probably the worst one. Yep. Alright, alright. Who the best one of y'all? Triboard. Oh, yeah. Of course, Triboard. I'm on between the Alien and Triboard. Those are two I play with the most. And Bo Cho is just alright to you guys. Yeah, Bo Cho, alright. You weren't as bad as I thought you was. Dude, we're just nasty. We're just forcing so people and throw up on them. What is wrong with him? You just always just be disrespectful. We're just throwing <laughs> up on people. They make me mad when I'm fighting with him. He just stops and just throws up on the floor while I'm fighting. Makes me mad. He misses a 
my whole combo. <laughs> you should have saw his fatality back in Mortal Kombat at Armageddon. Like, um, he take a like a match and he fought on it and made a flamethrower and like he burned his opponent to death. I mean Mortal Kombat Deception. That's nasty to see him. It was like one of the funniest yeah. fatalities ever. That's just disgusting. Even though Leather even though Leather Face had a uh, crush on Cassie Cage. Oh he sure do. That is so weird. <laughs> I saw that. Um, that was hella funny. Like, she told, like, he, didn't he, like, take off Sonya Blade's face to give it to her daughter? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And he was surprised that didn't work. Why? Right, he cut her face off. Yeah. Well, I know Brandon was like, well, at least he didn't have to Melina. Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, I know, I know you would have been pissed, and you would have hated um, a little face if that happened. All right, then that's um anything anything more y'all want to add about this uh combat pack or Mortal Kombat X or whatever? Nah. All right. So if there's nothing more to add, let's move on. Ladies and gentlemen, the console wars might be on the road to being over. Xbox has announced um, they want to do crossplay with PlayStation um, people, meaning they want when you go online on Xbox One, they want to um, they want you to be able not be want you to be able to not only play with Xbox uh, people, but also with people on PS4 who haven't had the game. Now this is really for multiplex too, and they want to get Sony. And I just checked with GamingIlluminati.com. By the way, you should get the app too. Um, Gaming Illuminati, the app. And Sony has confirmed that they're going to move forward with this. So, so what do you guys think of that? You're going to be able to play with Xbox One people and PS4 people. That's cool to me because, uh, what's that? I got some old boys who play on you know, PlayStation and stuff. So, I didn't play, uh, what's that book called? Black Ops. Uh, PlayStation, I'm like, I can't even play with y'all, because y'all on a whole different system, but since, it's gonna do like, that's what we can do with PlayStation, but I think that's cool, and we can play with, uh, what's that, PCP? Oh yeah, you can play with PC too. Wait, you know how much, 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 but it might need to do it with their next system, with the PS5 and the Xbox 2 or whatever. But, um, I don't know what, how come, okay, this may be an obvious question, but why not Nintendo? Because don't nobody fuck with me, like, do like Um, excuse me, Pokemon Tournament is coming out tomorrow, I'll have you concerned, and every, and every nigga's gonna be, I bet niggas are like, um, lined up at GameStop right now waiting for that midnight release. Don't nobody kill me. Fuck. I don't even like Pokemon like that. But, um, yeah, I mean, Nintendo doesn't have that many multiplayer, but they still got multiplayer. They still got Assassin's Creed. They get Call of Duty from time to time. But, uh, yeah, I can see brand new saying that uh, there are going to be some problems here. There might be some connectivity issues and everything. And I don't know why, but I see some hacking issues coming about this, too. Because if you're playing with PC and all that, um, you know, I'm part of a PC master race and all, but PC people are kind of, you know, jerks when it comes to their stuff. Especially you're playing with a console. Alright, alright. Any, anything y'all want to add about this? Brand new. Anything want to add about this? Anything more you want to add about this? No. All right, all right. So look out for that. This might be happening. This is most likely gonna happen um, the next console generation, so around 2018. So look out for that. All right. Hey, are you guys excited for Batman vs Superman? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> right, because YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Doritos, 
Mountain Dew, Twinkies, and every single food item under the sun want you to know to get excited for Batman vs Superman. My point is, Batman vs Superman is getting advertised a lot. Right, right. I'm kind of, I'm kind of hoping that's not the case, cause we already booked our stuff on when we're going for that. All right, what do y'all think, brand new? Brand new. Brand new. Okay, but uh, what? What do you think of Batman or Superman getting advertised too much? I don't think anybody's really gonna be on Superman's team. Boy, most, boy, most people, boy, most, most people is on this team. I don't know. Batman's a lot more popular than Superman. Uh, but every time somebody asks who's gonna win, the crowd always says Superman. I mean, if you think about it realistically, like take off Kryptonite suit, which is I'm betting, I will bet any money that there's gonna be a Kryptonite suit in that movie. If he, okay, okay, yes, we're, we're calling this bit right now. I will pay you five dollars after movie theater if we go to the whole movie. We don't see a, a, thing, a thing kryptonite, but you gotta pay me if we see it. We bet. All right, all right, it's a, all right, it's a deal, it's a deal. But um, <clears throat> all right, but uh. I don't really mind heavy advertising, like as long as they like do it cleverly. Cause y'all remember how Deadpool was um advertised? Like uh, they had the billboards and everything. Like it made it look like a romantic movie. And they even had that um that billboard. It had like it had like a skull, the poop emoji, and L on it. I thought that was really funny. That was really clever how they advertised it. But um. They just outright put shoving them in your face, like, hey, you gonna have some Mountain Dew? Have some Batman. Gotta have some Coke? Have some Batman. Doritos? Have some Superman. You wanna get something out of the vending machine? Have some Batman staring at you, getting ready to fight you. Oh, okay, okay. But yeah, getting advertised a lot. But, um, <clears throat> what's like another movie? Well, y'all think the Civil War is gonna be like this? I mean, at all? I mean, with Tom, with Tom Holland playing. I'm with Superman in it. I mean, not Superman. With Spider Man in it right now and everything. I mean, I can, I can see it right now. Like, you can see, like, Spider Man and Iron Man and, um,. Captain America, all the Coke commercials and stuff. Like, me and Brandon already talked about this, but it's gonna be a commercial that um, Captain America's getting ready to have uh, drink a Coke, and then Iron Man's gonna fly up and kick it out of his hand, and Spider Man's gonna catch it, and while Iron Man and um, Captain America are fighting, like, um, Spider Man's gonna be in the back, like, drinking it upside down and stuff. Oh yeah, I saw it at the store Are today. They, they also have a Batman and Superman cereal. They got Batman cereal and Superman cereal. Yeah, it's got like Batman symbols, packed with Batman symbols, and the Superman symbol is some other kind, but they got his symbol on her. 
you know, I'm gonna buy some and I'm gonna tell y'all how it is, but my money's better than all. It's gonna be disgusting. Oh, that's an off brand cereal. <laughs> no, I've got the Batman right. brand made by Wayne Tech. Uh, Batflix. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, like, superhero movies getting advertised like this, I mean, like, this, w w but I mean, they always gonna have, like, a comparison with food. Like, y'all remember the Iron Man 3, um, commercial with Subway? No, I don't. Okay, um, okay, you remember that scene in Iron Man 3 where, um, where Tony Stark was, um, in the, was in the snow with his mouth fucking in a suit? Well, Subway took the um took the uh, uh, that scene and had um uh, Iron Man had a space mask come up and he says, "I have only one thing I gotta ask." And it, and then instead of the line, he says, "Where's my sandwich?" And then it came and then it cut to like uh, a yeah, then it cut to like a um, Subway commercial and all. And uh, also when Man of Steel came on, they're like these construction workers fixing up Superman's mess. And this dude had a Hardy's burger, and right when he's getting ready to bite into it, Superman came down and just like made a crater like right next to him. And the guy, instead of getting pissed off, he was like, "You know what? Fine, it's cool." And then just getting ready to eat his burger. And... Yeah, that was a. Right, right, right. So um, yeah, Batman vs Superman comes out March twenty fifth. That is Friday of next week at the time of this recording video, which is March 17th. So be on the lookout for that. Um, us, we all, all three of us are going to go see it on set the next day because fuck get uh, opening day tickets because we know those shit's gonna be um sold out. Right, right. to me, happen to me when I'm gonna go see Resurrection F. But um. All right, next one. Speaking of Civil War, Spider-Man in the Civil War. Um, I have yet to see the trailer. <laughs> you know what? You, why don't you and Brandon go watch it? Um, go talk about it. I'm gonna sit back and watch it real quick. Really, right now? Yes, right now. Right. We already been talking shit about this trailer. Like, we'll talk about it more. Like, right now, I don't know Okay, fine. I, okay, I didn't see the trailer, but I did read up on it. So yeah, like I said, Tom Holland is a new um Spider-Man, and I had a conversation uh, with. Don't know that. And with and we, there was like a joke with underoos or whatever, but um his suit, like I I already told them this, but um I like how I do like how it, and J Money and uh, mentioned the suit. I do like how his suit looks. Um, like how his eyes move, kind of like in Deadpool. Um, also, say what? I mean, like, like, your suit in there is cool, but, like, you just look like a cartoon, though. I mean, oh, well, yeah, he does kind of do. I mean, that web design, that, that was, like, in the first couple movies, that's, that's gone. I mean, it's there, but you, like, can barely see it. Is that, dang it, phone! Sorry about that. Sorry about that. My father's calling me. Um, but back to what I was saying. But yeah, the trip. I mean, it looks good. Um, Tom Holland is what I've seen. He he seems to be pretty funny. He seems to catch the spirit of Spider Man. And I actually did see a little bit of Deadpool in him too, with the catching of the um shield and him saying hello, everybody. Same shit. Same shit. That he's still addressing everybody. I'm not a Marvel. I'm not. I told you guys. I'm not a Marvel fan. I'm a DC fan. All right. Only people I like from Marvel are the X Men, the Avengers, and Deadpool. X Men is trash. Who likes that stuff? I like. I like the old cartoon and I like how they are right now. They seem cool. Lame. I don't like 
Okay, we're getting on topic. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. Topic. So, um, uh, we can actually wrap up last topic, actually. Sausage party. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Like little slit in the mouth of a hot dog bun. I bet money. I'm betting money that they're gonna make a joke like that. Yeah, I, I, I bet too. I will bet my whole entire flyer life savings and my PS3 that that's gonna happen. But um, that don't happen. You gonna be a bored motherfucker? I got a Wii U and a 360 and a PS2, but um, anyway. But yeah, Sausage Party. This is made by. This is gonna be written by the same people who wrote Super Bad, Pineapple Express. This is the end. And what was that other movie? Um, Pineapple Express. This is the end. Super Bad and oh yeah, and Neighbors. So, so and Jonah Hill and Jonah Hill's gonna be in it. What are we doing? What are we doing for you, guys? TV birthday? She just passed UBI. Uh, what is UBI TV's birthday? Wait, 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 I don't know. I guess we'll discuss that on um, when we get off the podcast because we can't have any secrets leaking out, can we? All I gotta say is I'm doing something special. That's all. I'm doing something separately. I don't know. If, well, Macau don't I'm just doing something separately. Yeah, I see. I'm gonna try and do something too, even though I'm on hiatus right now. Why don't we just make a a big old video a video a montage with all our videos on it. Oh yeah yeah that could be cool. Celebrating one year on the show. Cool. We don't all three of us don't have to do one we could just be one video and it could be a montage with all our videos on it. Right, 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 true, true, true. But um yeah, in case you didn't get the memo guys, we turn one year old, man. We we started this channel. Uh, since we're on this right now, let me um, go ahead and add another obligatory topic. Why did you guys want to get on YouTube? I want to get on YouTube because... Dude, come on, man. I was just going to say that. You know I was just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was just going to say that. <laughs> Pretty much the same thing for me, but I, I just really want to entertain more to make y'all laugh. I mean, if I entertain y'all, that's great, but since I'm not funny, it's gonna be kind of hard for me to make y'all laugh. But you know, I mean, right. I mean, these two right here, like they are like stand up comedy, <laughs> they like do they like do comedy for a living. If I do stand up comedy, I'll get up there like telling knock knock jokes. Oh my god. <laughs> Say banana? What? <laughs> what did you say? What did he say? Orange, you gonna say banana? You said orange. <sighs> See, I told you I'm not funny. <laughs> 
I told y'all I'm not funny. <laughs> uh, I'm more corny than funny, man. No, like you're like so corny, you're funny. I'm like so corny, it hurts. Which is actually what I'm trying to go for. You showed him talking, and it's call drop. Damn. It's call dropped. Oh, I don't get, I'm, hold on, I'm getting them back. Alright. We're up. Um, brand new just said, you're always talking about pizza. Be able to go see Civil War now, would we? I mean, Batman vs Superman. Oh, you wouldn't be able to go see it. Right, we will. But, right, because I ain't got, got jobs though. Oh. So, is that, is that the end? So, is this the end? I would say so. This is the end of the UBI TV podcast. Um, with the big god, I'm with the big god. Um, I'm still on hiatus, but I will be back. Um, closing statements from you guys. Game morning. <laughs> I said you need to tie your shoes. All right, and we hope you guys have a good day and good night.